you bunnies for this video we're going to be talking about my hair and the style that I'm wearing is a crochet now if you don't know what a crochet is it is a protective style where you braid your hair down you take a crochet needle stick it through the braid hook the hair through and make a knot to have the hair on top of your head if you still don't understand there are like a million crochet tutorials here on YouTube and if you're watching this video more than likely you've already seen those videos right Right, this is not going to be a tutorial video because like I said, it's gonna be redundant because there are like a million and one different crochet videos here on YouTube and honestly, that's how I learned from watching here on YouTube. Now this is my very first time doing crochet braids and the hair that I use, I absolutely love. The hair that I, the hair came from an AliExpress company. They sent me five packs of hair. It's 18 inches, so when I put it in, it hit me like all the way down to like my waist and I did cut it a little bit so it's like a little bit shorter than how long it initially came if you did cut it duh but I used um, almost the entire five packs like this is all I have left from the hair and as you can see it is a teal ombre very Kylie Jenner-esque when she did her teal ombre and what inspired her Bellamy extension line anyways so it starts from like a really dark I want to say a number one B maybe even a little bit darker maybe a number one down to a teal there is no like transition colors just like black and then teal which I love I don't mind at all and they do have like a bunch of different colors they have like purple blonde pink whatever you can think of they have it and the hair costs was like 20 maybe 22 dollars something like that I will leave the link in the description bar below so you guys can check it out a little bit more about the hair it does take heat believe it or not a lot of you know that I love to use my flat iron on my hair even though I should not well mainly my leave out anyways but I do did use my flat iron on this to curl it I had to put it on a really low setting and it did curl and then to straighten it I bumped it all the way up to 480 and is it 480 Maybe it's not 480, but 4 something. Between 410 and maybe 450. That's how high my flat iron goes. And it, I was very surprised. It did not, um, what's the word? It didn't burn or melt like other Canaclon or synthetic hairs would. This hair took the heat and I was very surprised. The curling wands did not work with that. Um, if you were to braid this overnight, wake up in the morning, pull it out, you would have some really nice natural looking waves. You could also flexi rod this. You can wash it if you want to, because again, it is regular canicle on here. So it will, okay, it's not regular canicle on because it can't take heat. So <laughs> it mimics human hair very much. So if you wanted to go ahead and wash your hair, like if you wash your hair weekly or bi-weekly or whatever the case is, you can always go ahead and do that. Or if you wanted to go ahead and do a dry shampoo, which I would recommend for you guys to do, you would do a dry shampoo instead of getting this hair wet and having, you know, whatever reaction or whatever but I do think you'd be okay washing this hair texture usually when you do the crochet on a lot of um, other tutorials you're gonna see they're gonna tell you to prep the hair by separating it when you get it out of the pack okay and, and if you watch a tutorial you'll see them do that where they take the hair and they just start separating now I did that with one pack and I will say you do not need to do that with this hair the pack that I did do the separating thing with it got so tangled it was a mess I could still use it yes because but I did have to go through and untangle everything so when you get it just take the the rubber band that's gonna come on top here and literally when you look at it it looks separated for you already so just take the piece you want pull it apart and go ahead and crochet the hair into your head you do not need to quote unquote prep this hair at all if you wanted you could also put your cold wave rods on this dip it in the hot water and pre-curl it and then do the crochet you could uh, twist or braid this if you wanted to but it does have a softer more yakky texture so it does mimic relaxed hair really really well so if you wanted to do like I did and do more of a versatile or vixen inspired crochet look you could go ahead and do that so moving on to my braid pattern how I did this I did start out I didn't want to do a vixen initially but I didn't want that part in the back of my head because then I would feel like it'd be like way too much hair whenever I do a vixen for somebody I always try to talk them out of it because when you wear your hair down there's always like that pack that sliver of hair in the middle that looks so weird so all I did was I left out right across here so that I could do like a high ponytail at 
the top of my head like a half up half down thing I did do a part on this side on this side and down the middle so I can always again do the half up half down I could do where I could do a side part on the left a side part on the right a middle part or I could do both of these sides up and have you know a nice ponytail up in the top there having looking kind of Ariana Grande ish um, and be on my way so that's where the versatility comes in and that's how my braids are done in the back I have it going horizontally okay horizontally and then for the top four sections one two three four i have them going in a circle and then for these four is literally probably like i think it's one braid that just goes around and then i crochet it into the braid and then that's it you do not have to use a lot of hair because i did have to thin this hair out so much because it was so full so if you wanted to get three packs of hair you could always go ahead and do that when you are crocheting the less is, is is always better because it will keep the knots nice and tight me i am super lazy when it comes to doing my own hair so i did not do small small pieces so my knots are pretty visible and then i i'm gonna leave her video her channel link in the description bar beauty can braid i found her on instagram but she is here on youtube and she i followed her technique of how she looped it five times you can do that or you can go ahead and do the not less crochet technique and I will try to find a video for you in the description bar below. The time that it took me to do this entire look literally was the entire day. I started maybe at 10 in the morning and then I finished at like 5, 6 o'clock that evening. And that is because again, I am when I'm doing my own hair, I take my own time. So maybe you'll go faster, maybe you'll go slower, but when I'm doing my hair myself, I take forever now I initially did want to do a quick not a quick weave <laughs> a crochet weave crochet braid wig on the netted cap but then again I did want to have the option of switching up the got hooked in my nail <laughs> I was switching up the parts of doing the half up half down look and I didn't want I didn't know how it would work with the nets and I didn't want the knots showing and all that stuff even though it's like showing right now but yeah I wanted to, I decided to go with this instead of going with with the crochet wig but if you want to you can always do that create a U part with the net cap and be on your way take it off when you want to put it on when you want to all that good stuff again the hair does take heat it can straighten it can curl it can be washed again because this is crocheted into the hair it there is some shedding that goes on which is quite annoying but it is to be expected when you're doing this style because it's not like on a weft or anything like that it's braids and it's not twisted or plastic down so you know it's it's pretty loose so it, there will be some hair ever so often just coming off and being all over the place so if that's a problem for you I'm very sorry. All in all, I do love the hair. I give this hair like six out of five stars. I absolutely love it. I love what did it for me was the fact that it took heat. Okay, like I was expecting this hair to frizzle up and and just die and just melt off onto my flat iron, and it didn't. And I am so happy about that. And that is the I think the number one reason why I give it. Did I just say that? That's the main reason why I love it so much. Yeah, because that is the main reason why I love it so much. That and then this awesome color. Like the colors that they have on there, it, it took me a while to figure out what color I wanted. But I decided to go with this only because I am in love with Kylie Jenner. I think she is so dope and I want her to be my girlfriend. I think I covered everything about the hair. Again, I will leave the link to this vendor in the description bar below. The hair you get five packs for like 20 something dollars again it'll be in the description bar and it comes 18 inches they do have where you can get just two packs if you want so it does come all black if you want it all black i highly recommend this hair over any other hair that i've ever tried thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section all imperative info again will be in the description bar thank you guys so much for watching until next time peace sign and kissy face bye not a fart <laughs> coming from your vagina your legs are up in the air and you're having intercourse it's when he's thrusting inside of your vagina and air is going in and being pushed back out that's all queefing is there is no air in your vagina that is coming out that's from the outside going inside and 